The following program is restricted to persons over 18 and above. Discretion is advised. There are three words that, that usually bring a lot of to people, but for so many people, especially in Nairobi, it causes a lot of confusion. And these words are, I love you. That's what we're going to be discussing today. Welcome to today's Men Conference show where men become the alpha males. I'm your host, Mimo Karanja, the only female allowed to this men's conference. And today I am joined by amazing gentlemen, the alpha males. We're going to get their opinion on these three words. I love you. So, but, but for now, I'm going to let them introduce themselves so that them. The word love you, what it means to them, you can know them. And you go search their Instagram, it will tell you more. <laughs> we start here. My name is Dantos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sir Danvab. Yes, the Sir Danvab. Actually, let me even probably because the camera just turned on to me. Sir Denver B, the man who sees the ass in astrology, the ass in astronomy, and the ass in astounding. <laughs> Great to be here. Hey! 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 We are sorry. Moving on. <laughs> My name is Anthony Njenga, A N T H O N Y Njenga. I'm a counseling psychologist, I'm a life coach, I'm a mentor, I'm a motivational speaker, and I'm glad to be here. Well, I wow. think we, we found the right person also so that they can tell us. No, also the psychology no. part. <laughs> I'm the doctor here. But anyway, here. Eh? Ati? I'm the doctor here. <laughs> you are Dr. Ringding. Dr. Ringding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one, that one. <laughs> That's the only, the only one he can handle. Yeah, Dr. But Ringding. Man, I want to know my, um, the alpha males. I want to know when you hear the word I love you, what, does, what do those three words mean to you? They mean a lot. Mm -hmm. It depends the uh, who is saying it, yeah. to who and why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it depends on circumstances. Mingi sana. So who 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 do you think when they tell you that means a lot to you? My mom. I, I knew you would say that. <laughs> I knew you would say that, Denver. Depending on a lot of the times when it's said, mm -hmm. especially by accident, yeah. it can also mean three words: mm -hmm. post not clarity. <laughs> Eish! <laughs> Eish! Uh -huh. Anthony. Psychologically, I love you is a very. Uh, it plays both ways. Eh? Yeah. It can be a very dangerous word to use if you don't know where to use it. Mm -hmm. It can be the best word to use it if you know where to use it. Because yeah. most people take the I love you word when I took Kuli and Kama too. This is just a normal word to say. Yeah. But uh, this is a strong word. Mm -hmm. And the way, uh, what Wingi, our Jew, who to tell I love you, when to tell mm -hmm. I love you, what is the right time uh, or how. Or which situations should you say I love you? Or who 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 should you really tell I love you? Yeah. Because uh, people just use what we make I love you come to normal word. Love has been uh, it is, it's, it's a word like ni kama tu kutumia jina kama letter kijiko. Yeah. Kawaida. Ni maji. Nite maji. Yeah. But love is a very strong word. Okay, so you people look at your partners and you're like, yeah. I love you. <laughs> okay, maji na kuja. Maji na kuja. No, but I think he ha, he's, he's said a lot of heavy words. And I'd love to know that, Dantos, do you think these days the words I love you have been taken too casually? Yeah, the word I love you has been taken casually, but most of them, most by ladies. Yes. Ay, ay, a no, man of substance. No, no. Yeah, 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 by Where's ladies. Where's my red card? Where's my red card? Let me card? define it. You know, ladies, I'm going to say word is a useless word. Mm -hmm. Do you know why? Yeah. A lady will tell a lady friend, I love you. And what is wrong with that? Now that's the point. Mm -hmm. Psychologist I'm saying, Mapa. You don't know where to use it. Uh -huh. Now you love, the meaning of love, to me, it's a useless word. Yeah. I love you, maybe I love you because I need sex. Yeah, mm. that's very true. Just through, for that moment mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. It's quite useless. Yeah. Me to me, I think nowadays we need to find another word. For love, it needs to replace love. Because yeah. love is not a match. I think I think what I can say as a lady um, is, in as much yes, these days even for men, 
you guys will say I love you just for the sake of it. I feel like yeah. actions, actions yeah. speak louder than words. You know, what you say, what you do after you see, say maybe that. Maybe you go to action. But also, but also <laughs> when, when I tell exactly. a lady friend. Maybe you go to action. So you go to the action of my love. No, but also, if I tell my lady friend, I love you, what is wrong with that? Maybe it's her birthday and I wish her a happy birthday and I love you. You know the mistake. Uh -huh. But you're doing it while you're wishing her the happy mistake, birthday. The mistake comes in whereby people don't know the difference yeah. and the people don't know there's a big difference between love and sex. Mm -hmm. And there is no point you can ever mix love and sex. Yeah. You know, as much as most people say when you love someone, you must, there's a point you really have to get intimate. Know. It's okay, yeah. that is important. Mm -hmm. But the moment you confuse love and sex, that is where most people get it wrong. Because the moment you start this relationship of yours with sex, mm -hmm. then later on, you could say, I love this person. Yeah. The only reason you'll have is because this guy is good in bed. That is not really love. So when the red cards when sex, you need them, sex, I, know, I, I disagree. Know. Sex is the disagree. foundation of your love. <laughs> exactly. Sex is the foundation of love. You can never no. mix love and sex. You know, I can't love you. So you could before to have sex. Uh uh. I'm on some stuff. Red card, red card. Let me explain. Let me explain. And that's why you have the post not clarity. Not clarity. Not clarity. <laughs> Denver, uh -huh. Exactly. And that's even what I'm going to use to beat this argument here on its face. Mm -hmm. With post not clarity. Uh -huh. Is it not even better to say I love you after, after the sex than before. Because you can say I love you before the sex. But you wonders. can say it during the sex. But after that you're like Denver, nah. The problem is this, eh? The problem is this. Most people don't get it. You also don't get it. You cannot if you don't get, get it. If you don't get it, forget about forget it. Forget about <laughs> it. Don't get it. Most people don't get this, eh? Okay. Uh, how do you develop this love, Denver? How do you start this love? Do you start this love with sex? How do you develop love? Tell me, how do you develop love? How does love come in? Or what is love to you? Because it's like you don't know what love is. Exactly. Oh no, I know what, what love is. Tell us what is love. What is love, Denver? Denver, 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 Denver. Denver. I need to go to the school of love university. <laughs> what is love? I know what love is. Trust me, I know what love is. As a feeling and when it's used. Which is why, personally, I feel like all alpha males mm -hmm. are supposed to use it sparingly. Yeah. You don't just tell anyone that you, you love. You love, yeah. Exactly. So, when I am saying that it works better mm -hmm. with post nut clarity included think about it mm -hmm. you go you hit it off uh -huh. you know and you go and you hit it yes yeah. post nut clarity hits and you're like you know what i might actually want to chill with this bit mm -hmm. you spend some more time with her you hit it again mm -hmm. you, know, you spend some more time and it goes to the point where it's even beyond the sex it's not even about yeah. the sex you know that's mm -hmm. i feel all like of that's a sudden, mm -hmm. at that point you're like you know what i'd actually want to spend the rest of my life with this person mm -hmm. Which, you know, scientifically should be around the four-month mark when it moves from infatuation and it actually becomes love. Yeah. You know, because, you know, I so, studied so, it so like this, a science. So what you're trying to say is this, Denver. Mm -hmm. yes. You want to say post-nut clarity is where you build love from after the post-nut clarity. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, that yeah. Is yeah. yeah. To you. Let me ask Denver this. Yes. Okay? Let me ask this. Yes. And this goes to all of you. Mm -hmm. Have you ever told a lady these three words, I love you, just to get into their pants? Yes. Hey Denver. Honestly, the face. The yeah. face. <laughs> to get between. I, to, uh, I, there are so many other things that you can use. No, no, no. But have I, you ever? I like your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> have you, have you ever? Have you ever used the three words? No, but have you, you ever used the these specific three words? I love you Honestly. to get. Never. Really? I have never used it. Yeah, to be honest. Into someone else's. Uh, ah, could yes. Do your story. You never use love just yeah. anyhow. Even you, you've never done that? Never, you can't do that. Dance shows? Me, I have. Me, I don't know. Jewel woman is in Bua. You always talk with Jewel. Like I said, Professor. Me, I'm going to The Kenya Institute of Character Development. I'm going to be a I'm going to explain. You love, the moment you're going to be a demon, I'm going to be a demon. I'm going to be a demon. Because I'm going to be a demon. The only thing I'm going to be a demon. The only thing I'm going to be a demon is I love you. So. You you just you, you didn't mean it. You just said it for the. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> something? Can, can I, I tell you something, why, Nimo? Nimo. Yeah. No, Negani. People don't get it mm -hmm. when you say I love you. Mm -hmm. What do you love? Yeah. Unezani penda kamara fiki. Exactly. Unezani penda. Friends, I love. Exactly. You. Yeah. So meaning, <laughs> people will say, you know, people will say I love you. Most people will think, "Mto kikombi I love you," and amanisha romantically, exactly. emotions in me yeah. invested. But it doesn't mean that way. That's why you need to confirm. Yeah. Even if someone tells you, "I love you," mm -hmm. 
how do you love me? What yeah. are what is this? Why have you told me oh, you love up. me? Yeah. Hold up, wait a yeah. minute. Mm -hmm. Wait a hard damn minute. Denver. By the time someone is saying I, I love, love you, you. Yeah. like see you nakupenda or <laughs> or naku love, mm -hmm. and it's I Mobile love. You know, love. Except, 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 love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mob love. XOXO. <laughs> By the time someone is sticking to those three words, mm -hmm. then it carries a meaning. Yeah. Exactly. It carries a very particular meaning. Exactly. Like some people don't even tell their parents or their siblings that. Yeah. 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 They save it for somebody that they have some sort of a romance connection one-sided but you know it's still there but you know love saying i love you doesn't have to be only Romantic. romantically if then i tell your mom exactly like that, yes that's yes that doesn't well. have to be that doesn't it, have it to means be. a lot to you when your mom tells you yeah, yeah. that's right? why that's why it will also mean a lot if you tell your parents exactly you but let me ask this anthony since you're the you know psychologist here i wow. want to know do our past experiences <laughs> yeah. wow no no denver way your answers will be based on things that you do not really <laughs> 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 answers. but do past experiences shape how we use these words uh, to some people, their childhood experiences, uh, maybe let's say if they were not shown love, yeah. uh, that's where uh, people get this uh, personality stuff and there's some attachment styles and all that. Unapata kama ni mtu wa receive that love when uh, alikuwa na grow up, yeah. it would be difficult for them to trust someone and to love them yeah. because maybe aliona mm -hmm. the love that alikuwa na receive. Yeah. And there are people also who watched their parents or uh, maybe the people who were taking care of them, their guardians, loving them so much and that's why you get there are two types of people in in in, the, in a romantic relationship or in this love circle yeah. there are people who will love you blinded yeah. and there are people who will love you and they will be careful of the red flags yeah exactly okay yes i love that and on that no note, you don't <laughs> <laughs> no i love it because it's true it's actually important for you to learn to learn um i think how your past experiences how inform, to love no how your past experiences in, inform your love life right now if if for some of so for so many people yeah. it's even hard to express these feelings to tell someone i love you because of what you went through in your childhood yeah most of them find it a bit a challenge yeah. but no, it, it doesn't say you can't even tell your parents i say i manage your environment at home i manage it because you did not receive the love also when you are growing up you cannot do that again you yeah. cannot uh, love someone else you can mm -hmm. but uh, most of some to some people it will, it will be a challenge because of what they went through and how they were seeing things growing up then you have something to say so which love are you talking about <laughs> I'm let's, talking let's about hold the, it there. I'm talking about the romantic love now. The romantic love. Yes. Yeah. So when you were young, you could have a romantic love. Yes. No. What were you doing looking for romantic love as a child? Yeah. Only, you, you're not, you're not yeah. understanding me. I'm, I'm meaning I'm the understand. general love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aki grow, haku wana receive the general love, love. from the parents. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Sasa aki wa sasa vinye haku sama kama wewe sa hii ku love mtu mwingine gen like ile ile tu genuinely itakuwa difficult cause hata yaki grow hakuona meaning ya love so at a love to them yeah and on this note we're going to take a break but what i feel on this lovely note <laughs> is trying to say is our childhood experiences our past experiences even character development you may be in the past can shape how you perceive these words and on that note let's take a short break we'll be right back after the break And we are back and today we are discussing about the three words that causes a lot of confusion when it comes to relationship but for some, such an amazing place, the 365 Pavilion uh, by Centum and I'm telling you this place, Imeweza, it's wow. very, very beautiful. So to continue, when these three words are said in a relationship, now I mean a romantic relationship, what's next in this relationship? Dantos, Dantos. <laughs> In a different way, same after what? Mm -hmm. I'm before what? Number one, I'm the same. I'm before sex. I'm not the same after when buy a kitu. I'm not the same after when bam bam when peleka man. You know what So, I think I feel like we're supposed to be two because we're supposed to be two. Yeah. Ata ndugu wapa specialized. Ata ata kuambia. If they say it in those scenarios that you've mentioned, you won't take it seriously. I won't take it serious. But what if they say it in a scenario you take it seriously? What's next for the relationship? Uh, what do you mean by by next? Nim, 
what uh, I can say this eh? uh -huh. uh, let's not look at what's next let's yeah. look at uh -huh. how have you grown that love mm -hmm. to, where, to, where, to wherever it is uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, how have you grown that love uh -huh. yeah. because you def let me tell you something uh, when you say you love someone mm -hmm. when you tell them you love in a romantic relationship mm -hmm. you can't just tell them out of the blues na kupenda yeah. yeah. maybe there's something good and uh, maybe you love them for the company you love them for for something you understand mm -hmm. so you have to grow some something with someone first mm -hmm. you know you can't just love someone just anyhow maybe kama ni familia hiyo sasa ni the other love ama agape love but now when it comes to romantic relationship mm -hmm. uh, you have to grow with someone you have at least to take time and be you say my we let me tell people who are watching before you get into a serious romantic relationship i'm saying serious because there are two types yes. before you get into a serious romantic relationship please it is advisable do not love someone or do not date or get into that relationship without knowing someone for at least six months and in that six months please do not have sex Kelele. Oh. <laughs> Kelele. <laughs> yes Absolutely. Mm. Danpa, you look mm. like you have Absolute a lot to say. Bold. Six months look so manini. Oh my say it. Absolute bull. Garbage. How did six months? Actually, you know what? I'll even start with, with, with what he was talking about before. Oh, you know, ask why, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Like, at what point do you think, like, when someone tells you I love you, yeah. will you have the guts, the guile, the audacity mm. to ask why? If it's a gappy love, do you love me because of how you, you blah, need to define blah, blah, but <laughs> you but garbage, garbage, you bullshit, garbage. You, you don't care what Absolute they told bull. you. Absolute uh bull. -huh. Wait, wait, wait. I am, okay, okay. At least for me, I look towards the future. Yeah. If she tells me mm -hmm. I love her, mm -hmm. and I love her, mm -hmm. and I tell her I love her back, mm -hmm. you know, it's a mutual loving, mm -hmm. you know. It must go down. <laughs> I believe in productivity. Yes, uh, practical. And I believe in growing it. Yes. So guess what? We will go and we will make some more love. Yeah. 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 Denver. Go and make some more love. Maro eating six listen, months. Listen, listen, Denver. You know, you know one thing, Those months are being given to someone else. <laughs> listen. <laughs> unajua, unajua, there's something. There are two things. Eh? Mm -hmm. There's something we call a situationship. Yeah. And there's something we call a relationship. Yes. So what you're speaking is a situationship. Exactly. No, I'm talking about a relationship. Exactly. No, 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 no. You because we have a relationship. A situationship. You love this person. Like it, Mona. You, that's not it's, genuine it's, love. No, no, no. It's not because of something. Denver. It is you because of something. Something. There are two. The situationship. Let's 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 hold it there, because Denver is gonna argue until our oh. minutes are over. What yeah, still the cows Dantos, come home even. But I want to know, because Dante has yeah. mentioned something about um, it matters the scenario where um, when the chick says, I love, I you. love you. So when they tell you, because you guys are getting it, it's good, and she says, I love you, what is your response? How do you respond to that? What? <laughs> <laughs> Which part? Be specifically. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm going to give you a <laughs> exactly. After that moment. Exactly. I love you, Kosi. We're not story, Kabisa. Because me believe you, you're not going to story. We're not going to Wait, wait, wait. Where's the camera? Where's the camera? <laughs> Kenya Institute of Character, of character Development. development. <laughs> Here it is, Denver. How do you respond to that? It depends. Um, if 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 it's while we're doing the do. Uh, I I guess that's a good a time as I need to start moaning. <laughs> Where? Where? Uh -huh. Oh, like what exactly are you supposed to say? Thanks. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was. <laughs> yeah. the, the only appropriate answer to "I love you" is "I love you too" mm -hmm. or or "I love you." Like I love if, you. More. But what if in this situation you don't you're not feeling it? What do you say? Nothing, you continue mourning. <laughs> <laughs> How was it? <laughs> so you're asking if someone, a lady tells me she loves me. Mm -hmm. After saying that. Why you're no. doing it? During, when, yeah. when I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do you I, respond I just to say that? I love you too. You know why? Uh -huh. Can I tell you something? Uh -huh. Because you know when you're having sex, when, you do, when you're getting into this intimacy side of it, eh? mm -hmm. maybe kuna ile vibe, uyu dema kuna ayo. Uh -huh. Na ukimshukisha vibe, umkose kumambia I love you. <laughs> 
anaweza anaweza shuka vibe inaisha eh, yeah. anaweza force nini kukaa maanza ku make ana, ana force unaona kuna wale madem wana force wana nini yeah. honestly so, like this guy sounds like the kind of guy that will do it and he'll moon even louder because he <laughs> likes the guy <laughs> like no 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 the, the, the point is the sound effect the point is the point is you know you know one thing when when this lady tells you uh, that anakupenda uh, as you know kuna kitu as I was saying in the break eh? yeah. uh, never be watching this don't be in a relationship with someone you love be in a relationship with someone who loves you yeah. you know maybe this oh. lady maybe this lady uh, to some point maybe anakupenda yeah. but we mwenyewe maybe we feel yeah. you know you cannot force yourself to be in, a, in in this love relationship or this something like like something like that eh? if you're not ready yeah. you must be ready you must commit yourself and please if you're watching this If you're watching this, Denver, Denver. Define uh-huh. your relationship. Uh-huh. After I'm going to I love you. Now I'm saying I love you too. No, no, joke aside, you don't mean it. Uh-huh. After it, eh? Ka chini na yeye. Tell this lady. Mhm. Uh-huh. Eh? That you are you know, a liar. You know what? I don't think so. <laughs> I did not say liar. it because <laughs> I meant it. I uh-huh. said it because we were in that situation. Even your kuko So I love you because you are no 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 no. Yeah. It was in that feeling uluko una 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 It was in the like, moment. Yes, at it was in the moment. Honest. Yeah. Honest. At least you are honest. At least you are honest. It was in the moment. So <laughs> no, but moment. but I also want to know as a alpha male. What does it mean if a lady let's say it's a serious relationship, romantic relationship, everything is going on well and then she tells you you I love you first. Na sakam tsgan no you define Akuna sakam stand to be say my mambo sasa pa tuko serious Tuko serious Eh ya me ka hivi chini yako na nyenye napenda dancers mimi nam show I love you akuja ku show I love you Ata mimi nambe love you too Mhm Genuinely am I okay Genuinely because I'm to me build your love You you won't feel some type of way cuz ni, ni she's a lady telling you first making like the first move when it comes to saying I love you 21st century Yeah This 21st century and I remember the kuna episode pili sasa kutoka hiyo Madam do make the first move nowadays. Uh-huh. 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 So what I'll do me hiyo so lazima ijibwaje but I'll just say do to pass to up maybe kuna kitu kuna nataka nifanyie na sema to I love you too. Uh-huh. Yeah yeah. Denver 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 today is Bro, very bravo, controversial. Bravo, bravo. So you have a problem with the lady telling you I love you first? No, I don't have a problem with her telling me that she loves me. Mm-hmm. Hell, I'll I'll probably appreciate it more than these two yeah. buffoons will. Uh-huh. <laughs> But <laughs> while I say it Mazi moja na wewe umenitoka Hey professor Professor unataka tuongee Denver I I I personally would love it if she told me that she loved me because if it was genuine if it is genuine yeah. you know whatever the hell it is genuine means yeah. then at least I know that if I feel the same then at least on the same page yeah and then you'll know as in this relationship is going somewhere yeah cuz a lot of times us guys will go ahead and will be the first ones to say i love you then we end up simping for all the wrong things yeah can i i, and, I have an and, experience and, and, and we that. have to avoid uh uh-huh. denver mhm uh-huh. i've ever dated this lady for 5 months eh? maybe anajijua sijui kana anajijua and don't sex yeah yeah but listen listen listen, listen listen without sex you probably didn't listen hey. eh? No 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 we were dating it was it was a, it was a relationship eh? we had decided this is a, we are doing this eh kila kitu kwa sawa this is everything uh, about a relationship okay. was happening yeah. kila kitu ilikuwa ina happen yeah. in a fuck our relationship everything the love languages 5 mm-hmm. months after 5 yeah. months after yeah. i thought this lady this lady loves me yeah. so i'm like you know i love you so much and all that i'm yeah. like no i think I, i think we are friends and we were doing everything as a couple Allah. So that was emotional damage. Eh? Ah. Emotional <laughs> damage. So that that left me so I don't know. It was so difficult. Oh love. Wait a minute. Five after five months. Yes. Everything as a couple. Kila kitu out going out Netflix and chill. I come the Buddha to the Jamba. Now this is the part where we say connection mm-hmm. server was lost. <laughs> there was download speeds but there was no upload speeds. Yeah. <laughs> because clearly mm-hmm. at some point if you guys were doing all of that yeah. you already picked up on the fact that she probably isn't to you yeah, yeah that's she it. was showing and all the signs all everything 
every wow. single then thing. Then you clearly weren't taught traffic signs while you were growing up because you're clearly missing out on flags. <laughs> I think I'd love this lady too much. The red flag, this guy. Exactly. That's the mistake. Okay, I'd love exactly. this lady too much. You were blind. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, but but I want to know. Let's, 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 let's get it. What's going to happen? Man, them simp. Udem, there's something I'm going to spend on you. Yeah. I'm going to buy you again. So, that's the assumption. That's the assumption. Don't tell really you the truth. But you have to do After five months, you have to do everything. You have to do everything. I used to love this lady so much. I used to love this lady so much. I used to love this lady so much. But Ancho, Ancho, let's, let's move away from no, that. No, no, no. I no, no. To... Like, I just want to tell him like the one nicest thing I think I've ever told anyone on this show. I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I, you, bro. I, I've been in that exact same position. <laughs> but actually, if yeah. a lady comes and tells you I love you first, do you have a problem with that? No, 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 no. no. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with it if it is genuine. Mm -hmm. Because you cannot tell me you love me if it is not genuine. So I must have to confirm if this is genuine. Yeah. If it is not genuine, I'll just tell you to just be genuine. Mm -hmm. Define this. You know, at the, end, at the end of the day, you need to know what you want. You want be a watu. One way in which you can really know if you really you want to get into a serious uh, romantic relationship yeah. know what you want mm -hmm. if it is me you want and if it is this you want this relationship this love you want yeah. after that define your relationship yeah. what are we mm -hmm. ask your lady Mammals. ask your man what are we mm -hmm. if akikwambia one year oh, after yeah. akwambie we were friends mm -hmm. then you are wasting your time and it is high time you move past that i know it is difficult but pain doesn't last forever tough people Huh? Tough times never last. Yes. Only tough people last. So you need to define your relationship. Neither <laughs> tough orgasms, but well. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to define well, your relationship. Me, what yeah. I know, yes. as a man, and I think most men what are, what are agreeing with me on this, mm. as a man, it will take time for a man to say, I love you, mm -hmm. for a chick. Yeah. Because, kuna vitu watu na pima. Yeah. kujua. Before to say me your word, I love you. Because us, your word, we mean it to kisema. Yeah. Kwa time tukisema we mean it, but itachukua time sana cause nataka kusoma who are you mm -hmm. unafanyanga nini what are you? your weakness yeah. what do you love blah 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 nikifanya hii shit utaichukuliaaje unanipata yeah. at the moment that come to i love you mm -hmm. I believe you me but now you, i think you've said something very meaningful and i agree with that but even when we were starting the show you said you've also said it just to get into someone's pants yes. so how do we as ladies you school ilikuwa na <laughs> no, but now, as, as a lady, how do we differentiate these two? Nijue, hey, Dantos, today are you serious? Ama leo tu anataka to get under the pants. So how do we differentiate these two? Ule boy na eh, na kwa be love you, ana kudanganya. Me as a man, me I know, inachuanga time sana for a guy to say I love you. Inachuanga time sana. That's facts. That's facts. Yeah, that's facts. Okay. Not all. As we wind up the show. As we wind up the show, I just want to ask this short answers. So because of time, I want to know when is it the right time to say I love you? Mm. Personally, mm -hmm. the right time to say I love you is when you're psychologically ready. Yeah, you actually mean the word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Don't just say, listen, if you're watching this, mm -hmm. don't ever make a mistake and tell someone's daughter, someone's son, yeah. you love them mm -hmm. and you don't mean it. Be genuine yeah. with this mm -hmm. because you cannot waste someone's life. This is someone's son. This is someone's daughter. Why waste their life? The heart. Denver. Why? Denver. Denver. <laughs> yeah? Denver, when is it the right time to say I love you? According um, to Denver's Okay. Acco well, according to science, mm -hmm. uh, or at least according to what scientists believe, mm -hmm. uh, an infatuation that goes beyond four months can be classified as love. Yeah. So if you've known the person for an extended amount of time, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. probably you've gotten the post not clarity out of the way, yeah. and you know you've made the love, yeah. then at least you can make an informed decision. Yeah. But essentially, mm -hmm. you need to make sure you've known the person, mm -hmm. and you've actually gotten... It's not the, just... Um, yeah, 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 yeah it, it's not you. just the infatuation. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. is why I'm saying, you keep to your six months, longer you keep to your months. That is... When is it the right time to say I love you? I think I'll agree with them after mm -hmm. after knowing the person. Yeah. Um, inside and out. Mm -hmm. Inside and out. Yani, usha mjua everything. Yeah. Now, usi u guy, atilazema kwa I love you. Yeah. Watcha it toke natural. Yeah. It toke natural, anytime, any day. Mm -hmm. Atakama after one month, two months, itakuwa real. Yeah. 
And I think in actions, yes. it's also very clear, like, yeah. In books, in the Bible, action speaks louder than words. So also, I, I think like if someone tells me I love me and their action don't match up to their actions, the words don't match their actions, then there's Apart a from the actions, mark. there's a language. The language. So guys, that's where we're going to end our today's show. We were talking about the three words that causes a lot of confusion, happiness to people, I love you. I hope you've gotten kidogo clarity in your situation, in your relationship, or whatever state you're in. Today, we were hosted at the lovely 365 uh, Pavilion uh, by Centum. I hope uh, you can check their number out on the screen. It's a very, very beautiful uh, place. For more information, give them a call. Um, I was your host, Mimo Karanja. See you next time.